Hello, Vlogineers. Today, we're going to unbox the Tinker Crate from KiwiCo. KiwiCo is a monthly subscription box that delivers STEM, science, and art kits. Tinker Crates are good for ages 9 to 16 and up. And you can order this at the link in the description and use the code LEARN30 to get 30% off. Today, we're going to be making our own arcade catapult. Experiment with your launcher and try for a high school. Okay, so first, there's instructions, I guess, how you build. Oh, so it's going to end up looking something like this. Tinker's off. Tinker zine. Okay, so when you open the book, first it looks like this. And then, oh, this is scoring or something. And then it says, once you've mastered your arcade catapult, try your hand at building other tabletop arcade games from materials around your house. So you can make a basketball game or a craft stick catapult. or a rubber band bowling game. Want to see what arcades look like before computers? Check out the Musée Mécanique in San Francisco. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but this is just uh, if you want to know history and stuff. Yeah. So the rest of the things in here are the materials we'll need for the arcade catacomb. And they actually tell you on the side here, everything, it includes everything you need. And now we're gonna show you all the materials that are in the box. Oh it just looks like that. Okay. So over here we have, what do you think this is? There's some rubber bands in here along with some gray thing. Okay. Oh, here's the ball. Here's the this, is, this seems to be made of wood, more wooden pieces. Some nails. Six, six, nails. six balls. I already said that. Oh, yeah. There's some sticker. A marker. Dry erase. And some materials for... What you... Oh, here's a scorecard. So this is a scorecard, which I'm assuming you use the dry erase marker to keep score. And that's it. It's time to build our arcade catapult. There are a total of 10 steps on the sheet of step-by-step -step instructions. We've already done the first two. Step one was to prepare the bumper by folding the tabs along the score lines. Then insert the tabs into the slots along the bottom of the wooden frame. Okay, so we insert it in. And step two was to fold down the tabs so that they're touching the wooden frame and to put four yellow stickers to stick it down. Okay, so now our bumper and wooden frame are fully attached. Brother is now going to do step three for us, which is to peel the backing off of the game board base. Which is all the white sticky stuff that's attached. Then we're going to line up the wooden frame with the base and stick it down. Stick it down. Be careful. Make sure it sticks perfectly. Hold on. Uh oh. Yep, okay, that's good. Here we go. Line up the cutouts on the game board with the tabs on the game board stand. Here we go. Stick six double stick foam rectangles on the backboard. Rest the bottom edge of the backboard on the table and line up the corners with the stand. Wrap the backboard around the stand to stick it on. Okay. So I guess like this, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. There we go. I think we did it. All right. That was pretty good, I guess. Now we have our base for the arcade game. Next is step... Oh, I just realized... Earlier I said there's 10 steps. There's actually 20 because there's 10 steps for building the game board itself and 10 steps for building the catapult. Okay, just to clarify things. Step seven, look for the two marked circles on the bottom of the stand and stick the foam feet on. So now we're done. Okay, now we have this. 
We line up the green and orange stickers with the tiles that have small holes and stick them down. Line up the red and blue stickers with the large mm. hole tiles. So let's okay. do that. Okay, so we're leaving the inner part of the sticker. And just the need the outer part. Make sure to do it perfectly. Got it. Good job, brother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Step nine. Line up a small sticky foam curve with each of the small holes. Okay, so like this. Okay, so they show you how the grid will work here. Blank, green, and then blank. And then you can do, oops. Over here is blank, orange, blue, blue blank, 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 red. We've assembled the game board. Next, we're going to assemble the catapult. Step one, grab a side piece and push a bolt through the middle hole. So this one you have to twist. Stack the pieces as shown onto the orange spacer. Then twist on another bolt to hold everything in place. This is a complicated diagram over here. First, we need a washer. A washer is this thing. I don't know why it's called a washer because I thought washer are those big machines used to wash clothes. Stick it through here. Next, we need two launcher pieces. Here, two launcher pieces. One, two. And next okay. one. Okay, another think... launcher piece. And then another washer. And finally, a second side piece. The side pieces go this way. Stick another spacer between the holes in one end of the side pieces. So one goes here. Okay, now we're going to put another bolt through. Okay, we did it. That's good enough. And now we're done. This is the end of step three and we have a little catapult. It's starting to look like a catapult, I guess. Slide a rubber band onto the long end of the launcher pieces until it lines up with the two small notches. Okay, we did it. It says the pieces will feel really loose. Don't worry, you'll fix that once all the rubber bands are on. So slide the larger brace into the launcher pieces so it slits fit together. Okay? Okay, we did it. Step six, pull the rubber band forward and hook it around the tab. Okay, like this. So as you can see, the rubber band is around. Oh, it's wrapping around. Okay. So now it's starting to fill up. This is the tight. top view. This is the side view. Slide another rubber band onto the other end of the launcher pieces until it lines up with the two small notches. Here. And then once again, yep. we do a brace, but this time the brace is smaller. Here we go. Now we have to check that the rubber band is in the notches. Yep. And we pull the rubber band up and hook it around the tab once again. Like this. Oh, around. So it's basically the same thing as the last one. Finally, step 10. Tip the launcher pieces down so the ends line up with the ends on the side pieces. See how there's like eight different notches and they can all line up. Four on the top, four on the bottom. Here we go. Okay. So now there's rubber band galore. And okay. now it's more secure. And now we're four done. notches on top, four notches on the bottom. So now, now that we've done this, it basically rests like this. And if we push it down, it goes back up. Pretty cool. So now we're going to test our arcade catapult. Remember, you have a scorecard along with a dry erase marker and with this, if you want to play a competition format, you can. You can give each of the holes different point values, and some of the holes can even be negative points. Oh, 100! So basically, you get to set your own point values, and you get a dry erase marker and a scorecard to make your own arcade game. And I think that's really cool. The only thing we need now is a ticket dispenser. And now it's time for final thoughts. So overall, the Tinker Crate was actually better than I expected because I, I like how I like the simplicity of this. How the, it's pretty simple step-by-step -step instructions, and yet you get to make something really cool, like an arcade game. I've never made an arcade game before, 
one of my favorite parts is how you're able to rearrange the tiles. Now, even though I do like the Tinker Crate a lot, I think it's more suitable for brother. Someone like me might want uh, one of the other crates, such as the Maker or Eureka Crate. And uh, those, I looked at the site, and those include some projects that are also like even cooler, oh. such as making your own lamp or pencil sharpener. Okay, so that is the Tinker Crate. This is just one of the many projects that you can make. And overall, I really like this one. I like how you can build your own arcade set, and then after that, you get to play with it after and have fun. Once again, if you like what you see, you can order KiwiCo at the link in the description and use the code LEARN30 to get 30% off. And now, I just need to get a better score. And bye-bye!